the WhatsApp Ronix with it and after and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys my color grading routine in just Photoshop so for this tutorial you know, we are not going to be skin retouching this very image we're just going to be learning about color grading and what I do to achieve those nice and vibrant colors for all my images in capture one and in Photoshop so I use two applications or softwares for color grading or working on my images basically so this is the image straight into my capture one interface and i'm using capture 121 so usually i first of all want to uh, do the basic adjustments to the image so if i told you maybe wondering why my uh sliders or my options are, are like on the right hand side i simply came to window workspace and I came to migration and they were just right here so basically what I do I first come to under the levels and I pull in my blacks like that then I also pull in my whites but don't mind if at all these are getting blown out so because we're going to be fixing that later on in this tutorial I come to the highlights and I just knock them in and when I push in my highlights you're going to notice that I've lost out on the overexposed t-shirt of the model so i'm going to come right to uh the whites and also push them in and also my blacks yeah i'm going to come to my shadows and i'm just going to just increase them to around eight i'm going to go with seven then also pull in my highlights even more then after doing that i come to my clarity and i'm just going to pull it to around five then after i have done so i come right down here to my icc profile and i, ch I simply change it to around a pro standard and you'll notice that i've lost out on the magentas and if i told you you don't have this you can simply come to uh, under the tint and just pull the tint to around a negative 0 0.2 so basically that helps us to get rid of the magentas especially if at all you shoot with canon cameras so after i've done so it is now time to work on the skin tones of uh, the model so i'm going to come right here and i'm going to come under the layer option and i'm just going to right click and i'm going to come to new field adjustment layer and when i do that i'm going to come down to the colors under the color editor and i'm going to get my color sample tool or color picker tool i'm going to zoom in then i want to choose an area of the skin you can see we have varying skin tones in this image we have magentas on the hands and we have some kind of yellows right here or some kind of greens so i'm going to choose a tone that is going to be a basis or i'm just basically going to match the skin tones in this image I'm just going to simply come and I'm going to click uh, on the area I feel like I should the uh, should be reflected onto the overall image. I think that is fine. And when you do that, you're going to notice that it has selected the color range. And when you turn, when you come all the way down and select a uh, view selected color range, you can see that we have only selected onto uh, the skin of the model. So what are we are going to do? We are going to now move the uniformity slider like this until we feel like uh, the whole skin is now really matching. So I'm just going to move it around 73. Then I come to my saturation and also push it into around 20. So I think I'm done matching uh, the skin tone. So if at all, I'm to go back up uh, to my layer you can see when i turn it on and off you can see let me zoom in you can see what i have just done right now i've just tried to even out or match the skin tones in the image then after i have done doing that i'm just going to take the image straight into photoshop by coming right to image and i'm going to come to edit with photoshop and i'm going to be using 2020 and i'm going to come to edit variants and it's going to be opened straight into my Photoshop for further more color grading uh, of this very 
image so just a few seconds and we are going to be straight into uh, Photoshop so this is where we are right now so under Photoshop what I usually do I tend to first of all come to my selective color option then what I do under selective color I prefer to come to the blacks and I just push uh, my blacks in like that to add some kind of contrast in the black areas of the image then when I'm done doing so I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command E on the keyboard or shift alternate control E on the keyboard and I'm going to duplicate that layer by hitting control or command G and we're going to come to filter then come to the camera filter to do some little bit more of the color grading to this image and we are going to be going back into Photoshop so it is more of a back and forth process for my color grading I'm going to come under the calibration option then I'm going to come to the saturation I'm just going to uh, knock it down to around I'm going to go with around negative 10 under the red primary then also come to the green primary and also do the same I think 10 will do for this case then let me see I'm also going to come to my blue primary and also push it around negative 10 you can see the before and after you have gotten rid of those uh, yellow tones in this very image then I'm going to come to my HSO panel and uh, this is the hue saturation and luminous panel then I'm going to come to the First of all, I'm going to come to the luminous of the oranges and I'm just going to knock it down slightly to around negative 4. Then also come to my hues. So under hues, I can simply, you can either take this towards the right or the left, depending on your tests. So I'm just going to go with negative 2 for this a very image. So you can see what we have so far before, after. So after I have done so, I prefer to come right up here and I do some little bit more of adjustments. I'm just going to knock down my highlights of this image just slightly and also push up my shadows like that. So I prefer to also do the eye and teeth whitening in ca camera before I can take the image back into Photoshop for the last step for color grading. I'm going to simply zoom into the eyes. I'm going to get my adjustment brush tool and I'm going to come to uh, just come to the adjustment brush tool. So since we have yellow in the white area of the eye, I prefer to go with the opposite of yellow and that is the blue to get rid of the yellowness in the eye area. So I'm just going to go with 28 then come to the tint. I'm going to knock it up to around 60 or 59 depending on what you want. Because we want to retain some kind of red tones in the eyes. Then I'm going to come to the highlights and I'm just going to push it to 5 and also my whites to around 5 because I want the eyes to uh, pop. Then I'm going to come to my uh, saturation and since we have color in the white area of the eye, we just want to desaturate or remove color from the white area of the eye. You can simply come and desaturate it to around negative 66 then start painting over uh, the white area of the eye so only paint over on what you feel should be white in uh, the image so you can see I think uh, we are getting there so hold down the space bar and click to move and now come to this other eye and just whiten so you can come and also enhance this beautiful catch light in the model's eye to give the eyes a more pop, pop kind of feel. So just come and whiten the teeth. And when you're doing this, make sure you whiten a tooth at a time. Don't uh, move the slider all the way. So I think we're done with the color grading in camera row. So we're just going to hit OK. And we're going to go back into Photoshop for the last step of color grading. You can see the before and after for our camera raw color grading rather. So what I prefer to do in uh, Photoshop, I come back to my selective color option. 
then I come under the reds then I prefer to uh, reduce on the amount of uh, yellows slightly in the reds then I also come to the magentas and also reduce on the amount of magentas to around negative 2 then I come to the yellows and reduce on the amount of yellow in the yellows to around negative 2 then I come back to my blacks and for those people who have seen my images I prefer to come and pump up my blacks a little bit and also come to my yellows and add that kind of cinematic kind of feel to the image you can see what you have just done before after before after it adds some nice and beautiful color to the image when you do that then um, I close that and I simply come back to my photo filter I'd cool down this image a little bit so come to the cooling filter 82 and just reduce on the density so I think I'm just going to go with around uh, 3 for this image so let's see the before and after for the Photoshop color grading I'm going to merge all these I'm just going to click shift I'm going to uh, merge all you have done for Photoshop color grading so command G so you can see the before, this is the image straight from the camera filter and this is what we have done in Photoshop before, after, before, after. So this is my color grading routine for color grading most or all of my images in both Capture One and Photoshop. And if at all you, you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you are watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another one. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.